Welcome to the rules portion of the yeast shootout. If you have clicked on this, you probably are referring from a yeast shootout video. So let me explain how this works. We are treating this like it's the Wild West. These yeast are going to ferment in the temperatures that my house gives, which is generally about 68 to 67 to 68 degrees Fahrenheit. And I'll further talk about the Wild West mentality here in a moment. Let's begin with the yeast recipe, or not the yeast, uh, the recipe for each mead. I am going to be using 1.7 pounds of honey um, for each of these meads. Uh, and I will specifically be using orange blossom honey because I like it. I think it's really good for this. Um, I will also use two thirds of a gallon of water and two grams of each specific yeast that I choose. Uh, it's important to know this. The uh, gravity for each one is going to stay consistent across 1.100 for starting, meaning we can get up to about 13.125% ABV for every single one of these shootouts. I am going to try and ferment in a gallon container in the primary and then move it into a half gallon container to age. I don't want there to be headspace on top of each one. That's why we're going over a half gallon in the primary. Now, let's talk about um, yeast nutrient yeast energizer. I am very aware, not every single yeast needs nutrient and energizer. However, Wild West rules, I'm giving them the same equal opportunity. So each mead will receive a half a, a teaspoon of yeast nutrient and a half a teaspoon of yeast uh, energizer. That will be, a, you know, the same across the board. So again, I understand. You might think that that's gonna affect things greatly. I just wanna give each one equal opportunity. Let's talk about the scoring portion of this. At the end of the primary fermentation, when everything is finished through, we are really tasting and testing whether the yeast um, is good for this traditional mead recipe or not. What different flavor profiles does this yeast bring to um, that recipe? So here are the things I am judging on. I will show you a picture of this sheet on the screen. I'm gonna use this sheet for all of my scoring purposes. Um, and you can total up to 70 points for each one. You will see me use this sheet in the future. So if you wanna find it, it's down below as well for your own references. Um, I am judging on color and appearance. What does it look like? Does it retain the color of the honey? Is it clear? Is it not clear? Things like that, 10 points. Nose and bouquet, does it smell like the orange blossom honey that I'm using? Does it have a pleasant smell? Does it have something funky going on? Just judging based on that, 15 points. Uh, flavor, how does it taste? Does it taste good? Does it taste like a nice honey character? Does it have a three-dimensional feeling behind it? Is it, um, you know, is it retaining floral values? Stuff that, you know, is it pleasant? Kind of those things. That will be 15 points. Finish, does it taste like a mead from beginning to end? Is it a solid flavor? Um, you know, all of that, that's 10 points. Honey character presence, that's pretty self-explanatory. Did it keep the honey character? Did it ferment all of it out? Does it have, does it retain that? That's um, one thing, that's 10 points. And mouth, feel, and body, is it full-bodied? Um, because we're using the same amount of honey in each one and because they are reaching the same uh, ABV, each yeast will definitely change something with the body, but more specifically, we just want to see um, how that yeast works in that regard. That can total up to 70 points. I will do a sheet for each one. I will also be compiling all of my data into a bigger, um, you know, sheet and telling you which yeasts get the higher point values. I'm going to be very real with each one. Um, eventually, they'll also kind of go against each other in other various aspects. So that's the recipe. That's the process. They'll sit for after my testing. Um, you'll see those videos. They'll sit for another six plus months and then we'll taste test them again to see if anything is different, if one is actually better than the other, so on and so forth but they will um, be aging, of course, in those half gallon fermenters, like I said. I hope you enjoy these yeast shootouts. If you have questions, please leave them below. If you want to refer to my sheet that I am using for your own purposes, that's awesome, go for it. Um, if you want to uh, follow, find the, the master list, I will be compiling that in the future. It might not be ready yet when you see this video, but if it is, go check it down in the description. Thank you, check that stuff out and enjoy the shootouts.